Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today I'm playing the Roughneck 3A, that is the one with the 7 energy hard points, and I'm going for a large pulse laser medium laser loadout today. So I'm running two large pulse laser and five medium laser, brings the Mac to an alpha strike potential of 47, which is really good, and I'm running a standard engine 280 to make the Mac tough. So uh, you can lose a side torso and then you have still three medium lasers and one large pulse laser and keep the damage going. As you can see, I filled the rest up with double heat sinks. Uh, it's very important to cool the mag when you're firing all those energy weapons. And uh, honestly, the heat management is not the best, uh, despite having so many of those heat sinks. So it only has a heat management of 1.23 roundabout. And uh, you probably want to fire all of your torso mounted weapons and the arm mounted weapons only when you need a little burst of damage. And speaking of torso mounted weapons, uh, they are very high mounted. So what you usually want to do is you want to Stay in cover and peek over heels with that and uh, later on when the brawl is on you can go in and fire your arm mounted weapons on top of that. But watch your heat, this one is very very hot. The modules for that are a radio deprivation module and a medium laser range and large pulse laser cooldown module. The medium laser range of course to bump up the range a bit so that you can play the peeking game. The large pulse laser has a decent range already so you don't need that. But instead I'm going for the cooldown because those are dealing nice pinpoint damage and uh, yeah, I want to fire them more often than the medium lasers because they are a bit more efficient. My consumables are UAV and a cool shot 9x9 to keep the mech cool here. I don't like the cool shot 6 anymore. Um, I, I, I kind of feel that it doesn't do that much and I value a UAV more than that. And that's the build. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. Another day, another roughneck. We are playing the energy variant today and we are playing Tourmaline Desert and Domination. Hot, hot, hot. Therefore, it's an override. I don't want to shut down in front of the enemy. So I need to take it super slow here. Uh, I mainly shoot my torso mounted weapons because that, that is so cool. I like that. Having those high hard points is amazing and those uh, arms are a bit low slung, so I'm just playing the peaking game in the first phase of the game and hopefully I won't die so early. I have a standard engine, so that's cool. We can just lose a side torso, still be dangerous, all that stuff. And um, yeah, I need to watch my heat management a bit here. And therefore, again, just the torso mounted weapons. And when I am in danger of getting killed, maybe I'm going to burst a bit with my uh, medium lasers um, in the arms. I don't know, we will see. We will see. So perfect target there. We've got Bravo, which is kind of in the, is he down there or is he in cover? No, uh, he seems to be behind the bridge. New target acquired. Yeah, there are a bunch of guys. I can see you. <laughs> I, I can see you as well. And that's a crab. Medium pulses. Okay. Swing around Echo 5. Right side. Two enemies there. A crab and a Timberwolf. Let's kill him. I got no New be target acquired. Yeah, it should be fine. Honestly. One of them got narc. I don't care. Let's go. Let's get those two guys out of the game really quick. Oh, PPC support. That is not good. That's not good at all. Okay, swing around, kill Alpha. Uh, they're on the run. Yeah, they saw us coming. And I'm stuck here. Oh no. And I don't want to fall down in the canyon. Ooh, I made it. Good. Follow up, please. Stay on the Timberwolf. Let's bring him down really quick. And as you can see, I am hot already. Uh, crab legs. Can we get him? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not, but it was a good start. Uh, center uh, Echo 6. Kill the Zeus Echo. Echo, Echo, Echo! XL engine. Okay, let's pop up that. Because he needs to be taken down. He has not an XL engine. But we got him. Good. So, uh, again, having that chain fire groups is crucial here. Uh, it is a very, very hot map and a very hot build, and therefore it's a bit difficult. As you can see, uh, Cody, step up a bit. Thank you. Shoot those. Shoot those, maybe. And yeah, I'm hot. I'm taking a lot of internal damage right now. But I wanted Huntsman down, actually. And we got it. Good. I turn around, Echo 6. Cool down a bit. Um, this is all calculated here. Yeah. All calculated self damage. Yeah, that one going. 
Another kill. And we are critical again, but I don't care. So, yeah. We're just cooling down while advancing India Jade Kite. And uh, I think then that's it here. I don't care about your meta build here, Gauss PPC. Oh, I should, however, care about that. Uh, maybe I'm a stick now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Granted. Granted. I just, um, I got killed because Blood Rage. But it's fine. We won the game. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't shouldn't have shot that. But it, it's fine again. We we went in with a little bit of a Blood Rage on our own here. Or I did that. Uh, Light Mech and Delta 5, Echo 5. And uh, <laughs> he's behind you, Echo 5. All right. <laughs> but I, I think you can see how the build works, right? So uh, you you just go go in, but not too deep. You just stay in kind of second line. You shoot with your large pulses and mediums combined. And then you deal a nice burn damage to the center torso or to the components that you want to destroy. You deal about 500 damage, get three kills in each match. <laughs> Five assists and three components destroyed. Yeah, that was the first one. Uh, I think the damage numbers were not too high in this one. Yeah, 500-ish, 600-ish, yeah, and a lot of 100 and something. So yeah, uh, let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Hopefully I won't overheat again. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing Grimplexus, we are playing a soul that I'm going to override here to die in a horrible fiery death later. <laughs> I almost killed myself. I want to state that here I almost killed myself. Uh, I was relieved from my misery by a friend, uh, but I didn't kill myself. Uh, just 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 to to make a statement here <laughs> yeah i went for for the kill there and uh it was over anyway so there was no point holding back and i could just destroy my mech and and try to get a bit more damage and more kills out of that the blood rage was strong i just wanted to overextend a bit and it turned out um i was punished for it <laughs> all right so we're playing assault here and uh we are going to foxtrot 7 we just engage the enemy directly. I don't want to play Nesca, so we are not playing the right side uh, turn or right side to push. We are instead going for left side, which is good. And then we can do some nice, uh, probably brawling, brawling stuff over there. Also, I like the Roughneck. I have to say that it's just a good mech. And I know that a lot of lore enthusiasts are not happy about PGI uh, building a, a complete new mech. Don't back up. Get forward, 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 forward. Don't get back. We don't want to go to Fox 7. And, um, yeah, I think they have all the right to do so, because it's their game. Well, why not introduce new mechs? And, uh, especially since that one is a very, very nice mech. It's such a beauty. So, yeah. Uh, directed my team a bit here. Uh, the Timberwolf wanted to back up because he got uh, shot at. But, uh, actually, uh, just tank it. You are a Timberwolf. You can just step forward and get cover. That is possible. What did you do there? Okay. <laughs> So, uh, flank right side, Fox 7. And uh, yeah, we are just going in. We are just pushing the enemy and uh, then we are going to destroy them. That's very easy from that position here. Uh, all we need to do is uh, stick together, focus fire, and then we should be fine. So, let's see if we... Don't stop here! I was about to get up here. Sorry. But, no. Uh, I missed a lot of uh, firing opportunities right now. Okay, shoot you. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that airstrike is a bit unfortunate, but it's fine. So they got a bunch of UVs up there. Uh, I don't know. Can I get it? Yes. The other one is down as well. Okay, push right side, Fox 8. New target. Uh, the cataphract is a bit messed up. If you see that, kill it. And we are going to shoot the Victor first. Which happens to just stand there? Oh, he's AFK. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry for that. But yeah, the, the enemy is on the run. We can easily destroy that. Uh, maybe not easily, but we can potentially destroy that bushwhacker. By just destroying his uh, side torso. Okay, M maybe not. Okay, this way. <laughs> Alright, uh, three kills we have. I want to get back from the front line a bit. So I'm stepping around here. And hopefully my little kid fox buddy is pushing. New target acquired. Uh, okay. Let's go in and kill him. We have five kills in advantage right now. And this is how you play that, that map here. And, and that game mode in general. 
You just go to Foxtrot 5 and then you kill the enemy. Okay, that one is dead already. Or is stick already. So, cool down a bit and then we're going in again. Maybe we can kill the Locust there. Uh, not quite. There we go. Good, there's a lone assault mech. I can just shoot my large pulse lasers because they are barely in range, but... Um, yeah, I need to get any. Uh, I need to get a bit closer. This is not really good. What why, what we are doing here? But he's down. That's good. Get wrecked, everybody. Get wrecked. Yeah, it was kind of a stomp, but again, the, the strategy it works out every time. You just go to Fox Seven and you push the enemy. <laughs> it's the best thing you can do. Problem is when the enemy is doing the same thing when they are counter pushing, then it's getting messy. Then you end up in a very big brawl. Okay, let's get a cheater. Oh, we actually killed one of our guys. That's interesting. Uh, well done. So we are 10 and 2. I don't think that they can turn it around, but... Uh, you deserve that kill. That's fine. So, uh, where did he go? That's the big question. Uh, is he running towards our base? Or not? I mean, he has no chance capping that. We are so close and uh, we're just going to destroy him. Okay, nobody's here. Yeah, just go ahead. But still, the mech itself, it is very, very good. It is very, very solid. You have a 65 ton monstrosity that uh, in this loadout here, it can can load out, uh, load a lot of uh, energy weapons. You just do that or you just go for four large pulse lasers or do whatever you want. Uh, you can basically play any build you want on that and, and you will come out uh, fine at the end. That is a very smart move that he is doing there. Just going back to base, killing another guy. Wow. Nice, nicely done. That was uh, actually pretty good. Target destroyed. So he deserves some credits as well. But anyway, uh, we won the game in the end. Uh, we uh, came out 12 and 3. Uh, Fox 7 push always works. I got, uh, what is it, two kills here? Uh, let's have a look at the end screen uh, to see that. Yeah, two kills, six assists, 443 damage. Uh, got one kill, most damage dealt, and two, four components destroyed. Yeah, everybody, that was your Roughneck with the energy weapons, the Roughneck 3A. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's a link to my Patreon page. There you can get some rewards and, yeah, keep me going, building those videos and streams and such. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.